Hey there do-it-yourself technicians and teachers. Today I want to talk to you about getting all of that video that you've shot on your phone, out of your phone and out into the world. So you've recorded some great footage to share with the world and you might have even edited it directly on your phone. If you don't know how to do that, here's an episode we did last week all about editing on your phone. But what's the best way to get it off your phone? If you've finished all of your editing and the goal is to upload to YouTube, you can simply go to the YouTube app on your phone and click the camera icon up the top right. Then you can scroll through all of your videos and find the one you want to upload. You'll need to give it a title and maybe a description and then click upload. The size of the video and your internet connection will determine how long it takes. But the video will upload and then go through the processing and you're done. For teachers intending to upload something to Google Drive so that they can share it in classroom, if you open the Google Drive app, log in and then click the big plus button choose the file that you want and then upload. Again, it will take a while to process, but then it'll be available in your Google Drive. If you haven't finished with the file and you want to do some editing on the desktop, then Google Drive is still a good way to get it off the phone. You can then simply download it from Google Drive to your desktop or laptop and edit it from there. There are other similar ways. There's a Microsoft OneDrive app that you can put on your phone, upload all of your files to the Microsoft Cloud and then download them again to your computer. I'm a Dropbox user, so I often use Dropbox to upload everything from my phone to Dropbox and then it's automatically synced back down to my computer. If you don't want to wait for the internet, especially if you have to upload it and then download it again, there's some other ways. You can simply plug a cable into your phone or tablet and plug that into your computer, which will pop up as a drive or a folder on your computer that you can then simply drag the files off onto the desktop or whatever folder it is you want to store them in. Now I'll freely admit that sometimes this can be a real pain. Back when I used to shoot these episodes on my iPhone, I would sometimes spend a whole bunch of time getting them to copy to my computer. And I honestly think the answer is having a really good quality cable. The cheap ones might charge your phone, but they don't copy files very well at all. For file transfers, cable quality matters. If you're using an iPhone and have a Mac, AirDrop is a fantastic solution. Click share, click the AirDrop icon and find your local device and it will appear directly there. Seamless file transfer over Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. There's similar functionality on Android with the Files by Google app. It has an offline sharing feature that I haven't actually used, but I believe it does pretty much the same thing. And there's another better system in development by Google called Nearby Sharing or FastShare. How do you get the files off your phone? Have you learned anything new in this video? Let me know in the comments down below. If you found this useful, consider giving it a thumbs up down below and maybe even subscribing or sharing it with a friend who might find it useful too. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician, navigate your technology maze and help teachers get their work online. There's some videos you may not have seen before here and here. And if you click the subscribe button down here and then click the bell icon, you'll be notified of all of the new episodes as they come out. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.